Don't yeah. worry. Okay, guys, it's time to move on again. Um, we're going to... Uh, who's our next guy, Dom? Uh, he shouldn't really need any introduction. I know he shouldn't really need any introduction, but we should really introduce him. Where's the man of the hour? The Tower of Power. Doesn't really Too go Too sweet to be sour. Where's our sheets gone now? We've seen to... Go have... on, it's all right. Well, let's just bring him in. It's Mr. Tony Twist. All Here the way go. from the UK. Well, I can't hear you. You it's can't right. hear us. Hear anything. Well, that's all right, because we don't want to hear you. Let's see if I can't can hear anything. anything. No. Try, uh, one second. Oh, I'm hearing you now. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. perfect. Super. Right, right. right. we're, we're going to hand straight over to you, Tony, Tony and, and you go, go on an hour, hour with these guys. guys. Yes. The Ooh. lovely hour with the lovely Tony Twist. Thank Enjoy. you, Joy. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Get, nice. Get, get, get us back, back over. Get, 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 get us back over there. We're there. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Excuse, Excuse me, mister. Me, mister. How, How come, come you got, got a pint, pint and, and you didn't, didn't get, get one, one for us? us? Oh, oh, well, I was trying to shit my nose you, but, you know, know, I'm, 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 I'm self-isolating, so I can't get out. Right, well, there's a bit of 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 you can be you, this can be used for many many different designs if you've ever seen this before these are a couple of new designs i've come up with um and i hope you like i'll get straight on because i've only got an hour for this and i want to get on and uh yeah, so firstly i'm going to show you uh the template which is 350q so i'm going to reinflate to about Round about leaving three fingers on the end, like so. Okay, we're going to burp that entire. And squeeze all the air down to the end. Give a stretch, and then tight. Okay. And this is really cool for line work. I use this every every gigs and stuff. So I make one loop, and come across and make another loop. So we have three loops. I'm gonna tuck one loop inside the top one like so. And that is the template for all the designs, for loads and loads of designs. All you've got to do, all it is just a matter of doing is changing the colours changing the nozzles okay so for this design i'm going to make a really cute elephant um i made one earlier on to show you but the belly went down but uh, anyway here he is Whee! get over there so i'm going to start making the trunk and this is a really cool trick to make a curly and um, this has been around for years, this technique. It's fantastic. What you do is you take a 160 or 260 and thread it through. Thread it through like so. Find the end there. And then tie it a knot. Okay. Like so. And what you're going to do is take your 160 what's inside. Like so, and just wrap it around your fingers, and then you inflate. I'm going to use the pump to show you this. You get a really cool. I'm going to let some air out there to make it nice and soft, and it'll still stay curly. Find about where you want. And then tie off like so. Then a bit at the end there, you just tuck inside. Okay, guys. Right. I'm going to make a pinch twist on the end. Now that pinch twist will be 
bottom lip tie around. So this is what we should have. Okay. That's one side. Take another grey 350 and inflate about halfway. That's all we need. About halfway. I'm going to tie that. I should have. I should have left that nozzle on there. But what I'm going to do is tie that straight to underneath that pinch twist, like so. I'm going to soften and make two small loops about a hand, four fingers to a hand. When you're making cheeks, you don't want to make them too big. You want to make them nice and cute. There we go. So two loops. Now I'm going to make about a three finger bubble here. And then I'm going to snap it there and tie it around about here so you've got some a nice soft bubble. Okay. Take your template and it's going to go twist in between these two bubbles here. So Right, so this is what we should have. We're position uh, we we'll get all these bubbles positioned later on. And then at the back where you've got that, that tail, just wrap that around. And that will stabilise everything. Okay. That's what we have. Now I'm going to go with the eyes, so I'm going to take five inch round. I blow it all the way. So I blow it all the way so you can stretch. By pre-inflating that first. That'll make it really nice and squashy so you can just take the knot there and you have five and just split that in two. Just do a few twists so you've got off. And that will go in between that bubble and that bubble there. Like so. I might as well do the ears now, so let's take another 350 in grey. Put it not a little soft, let a little bit of air out. eyes in after because this is going to go in, into one of the loops so you can actually you can take one of the loops off feed them ears in and then feed, feed it back through sorry about that where are we right there we are Okay, so got the ears go at the back. I'm just going to give them a little shake. Like so I'm going to put them eyes back in wherever they went. 
I'll redo the eyes. Okay, for the pupils, just a black five inch round, and you just want a small bubble, two fingers, no more. Twist that in two. What I want to do is take in between that knot there, I just want to twist about two or three times one side, two or three times the other side, so we've got a string. If you can see that string, yeah, and that will go in front of the white rounds. I'm just gonna have a quick look. Yeah, Pretty good. I'll put the trunk that way. Okay. Bottom lip come apart, but never mind, I put that back. There we go, that's it. Bottom lip at the bottom. Now I'm going to do is little arms and legs. For one of the arms, I'm going to take a uh, 260 in grey. Just blow it about halfway, you're not going to use all this. Make two pinch twists. So I'm going a bit faster here. You can watch this back a bit later on on the replay. I'm going to come about a hand and a hand and a thumb. Make, yeah, hand and a thumb. Make two more pinch twists. This time I'll just do it the old fashioned way. And a loop. Back off the rest. There we go. That's his arms. That goes in between the body here. That's a loop. And just push that up as far as you can. Now for the legs, it's just another 350 Q. So play, even about four fingers at the end. And tie. Okay. We're going to make two loop twists about a hand. Four fingers to a hand. One. Two. Okay. So this bit again feeds through the body underneath the arms here. And just bring that around to a good size, to a nice size. You don't you don't want the legs too long. You want them nice and stubby, so they look cute. And then break off the excess and tie off. And that's a really quick elephant. In line work, you can do that in five minutes or less. So what I will do now is I'll take my uh, marker. These are the best markers. They're big vivids. 
Um, I got these off Pippity Pop. Pippity Pop, Pippity Pop. Just two little feathers on the top. Just a couple of lines. On the top there. There's a cute, cute elephant. There we go. Whee! Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some more examples of of what you can do with this design using the template because I haven't got much time and I want to go on to a bigger design using 646s. So uh, another cute one you may have seen me do um, is, a, is a pig. Really cute little piggy. And you can put little embellishments on them too. These are great for also um, decor pieces. You can put them on a geo and they stand lovely on the table. You can put them on a hat, you can even put them on a wristband. Um, so another one, another quick one here, which you can make, which is very simple, is a little ducky. Whack, whack. Little cute duck. And the legs move around as well, so you can they can be sitting, standing. Really cute duck. Right. One more. A little fox. Okay. So that was the loop the loops three fifty style. Um, so I want to move on now and, and make some so, uh, a design using the bigger balloon, which is a uh, six four sixes. Uh, what am I going to make? First, I'm going to make a thing with this really cool cartoon character, which I love. There we go. Again, very easy design to make. It looks complicated and it looks quite impressive when when you taking this to a gig. Well, I'll make these on gigs all the time. They're pretty simple to do. So that starts off using. Um, I can find it. Six four six. I can't see any of the comments, so I don't know if I'm going too slow or what. Uh, too fast, I mean. One second. Just got to lubricate the throat. That's better. Okay, so we're going to take a 646 and we're going to blow it up, leaving about a hand's length. The pump I'm using, by the way, is called a Frisky Bloom Pump by Pascal Bruton. It's an amazing pump. It's really strong. So I'm going to blow that up. Leaving hands left. You want to see that pump? There it is. It's quite a beast. It's heavy, but it's fantastic. It's not very good for carrying around with you on gigs. So there we go. I'm going to squeeze. Get as much length of that, out of that balloon you can. The next step is to take. A 350 in yellow. Blow that up, leaving about a hand's length. Don't need to tie it because what you can do is you tie that straight on to your 646. I think I've got a lead. No. Right, straight on to your 646, making sure. You tie it behind, behind the knot. So your knot should always be on the outside when you tie anything because you want a good connection. See? Now with the 646, I'm going to come down about a hand and a thumb, twist off, and I bring that alongside the 646 and twist. 
couple of times, two or three times. I'm going to come up and match this bubble here, twist it. All you need to do is take one of those nozzles, wrap that around a couple of times, and then through the eyes, and that's it. Okay, the rest of this can go. Cut it off at the end. What I like to do is feed it down, wrap it around, and again through. And that leaves me a tie point if ever I need one at the top and at the bottom. You can always get rid of them after, tuck them away. Um, but at the moment, I like to leave them there. I don't cut anything off. Now, I'm going to take the end. You, you'll have something to grab to at the end, if the end. And I'm going to pull that up, wrap that around the body, through the loop once. I'm going to take that, that other piece we had and I'm going to wrap it and tie it. Secure that in place. There you go. Creating another loop. Okay. Now, I normally use um, I normally normally use a one sixty to do to do the framing around the eyes, but I haven't got a uh, one sixty. So I'm going to use the stretch technique what Billy Damon showed you before um, in his class. He, he was amazing the stuff he showed. Billy's a great friend. So you give that a stretch, whee, and pop it. Probably better if you if you uh, inflate it first. And then put that on your palm. Like so. And then that's it. There we go. And that thins the balloon right out. It's a great trick. Cheers, Billy, for that. So then I'm going to tie that directly to, on the top, on them scraps at the top of the head. So, I'm going to bring that down, centre, wrap that around, and then around, round the eyes, like so. Nice and snug, you don't want it loose. So when you're wrapping that around, you want that nice and snug. Then discard the rest. So just take that around, wrap it around a few times. Okay, at this point now you can you can find all them scraps and tuck them in and in around. And that's what you should have. Okay. Next up. Right, now for, I'm going to do his muzzle, whatever you call it, mouth. And this blows up about halfway. Another 646, going up about halfway. Tie that off. Okay guys, and then give that a good stretch, just push it, like so, and you want that nice and soft. All right, now that'll go, wrap, this will wrap around this part here. So, take that, wrap it around. Tie at the back. So, straighten everything up. 
and you can cut your nozzles off. I'll give it another swipe to secure it just to be safe, safe, and then just you can cut them off. Okay, so now we're going to go to um, the ears. For the ears, I'm going to use bee bodies. 321 bee bodies. Now the way, best way to inflate these for the ears, I find, is to use a hand pump, if you don't mouth inflate. Now feed, feed these, feed it right the way down to the black tip. Can you see that? You're feeding that all the way down to that black tip. And then just start inflating. Till you come down to about a hand and a thumb there. Okay, fire that off. I'm going to make a small, small two finger pinch twist on the end and wrap that nozzle around and tie that up, tie that on to, on to the pinch twist there. This is what you'll have. So you want another one of those. Again, I'm going to feed that on the palm. All the way down to the tip and inflate. Another pinch twist. The reason I do the pinch twist on the end of these is because this is going to be fitted in, so it'll be a friction fit. So you take, you take your pinch twist and behind, be, behind the um, 160, you just, just put that in, inside there, insert that inside and that will just hold like that. Do the same on the other side. Ears. And for his pupils, just going to take a black, black uh, five inch round. No more than three fingers. Fire that off. And take the nozzle off like so. And then split this in two. Now again, you want to eat, spear equally, and you want to you want to turn at least three times on one side of that knot, and then three times on the other side of the knot. So you've got that string in the middle, like so. And then that goes in between that one sixty. Have a look. Oh, that's wonky. There you go. Have a look. Now for the arms, I'm going to do what I did with what I did with the other character. And lately I've been doing my arms like this, I don't know why, but I think they look cute. So I'll make two pinch twists. Two pinch twists. This time I'm going to do the loop a bit bigger for, for the um, 646 characters. And I'll come out maybe two hands and two thumbs like this. Okay, and again two pinch twists.
side. And another loop for his other R pan. And just start the rest. And I'll go around a few times and cut off the rest. That's what we should have. You can get a little bend if you like here and here. That goes into this loop here. Do the same with the legs. So from a 350 yellow. This time I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna inflate this leaving about three fingers on the end. There we go. I'm gonna make I'm gonna be I'm gonna sorry. I'm gonna hold on to the knot and then make a loop about a hand. Okay, then I'm gonna feed the knot through to stop it unraveling. Now on the other end I'm gonna squeeze all the air down, make a small bubble at the end, about a three finger bubble. I'm going to make the same size loop one on the other end. I'm going to wrap that around a couple of times, push the, um, the bubble through the loop, stop it coming undone, and that goes through under the arm. Okay, and that wraps down and push together two or three times and then wrap that bubble around to secure. Okay. And for his tail. Two hundred and sixty in yellow, and inflate it all the way. Away. Take the halfway point. Twist, and let the rest of the air out. Okay. Don't cut this off. Put a little bit of the air out to make it nice and soft. Okay, then tie off. Okay, so we have a nice soft bowl. Now, like I said, don't cut that nozzle off. I'll show you, you're going to need that. So we come down about halfway this way and shock twist. And you come back up that way, to make a shock twist. Okay, that's very easy to tear. We're going to take the end of the nozzle. bottom of his legs, all tight, all that tight, and then take that, knot, that, that nozzle and wrap it round the bottom legs, and then just push that round and that will hide that string. Okay, and there we have so. You can adjust the ears how you want them. And then you just do the artwork, which is very simple. <sighs> Your stickers. Because <laughs> I can't draw for toffee. And I hate doing designs which use, which involves drawing, to be honest with you. Anyone will tell you that if I'm working 
with them. They do all my artwork for me. Don't you, Louise? <laughs> and uh, Miss Blue Universe, Natalie. She does all my drawing for me. Especially with princesses, no chance. So I cheat and use stickers whenever I can. Um, no point in making a really nice balloon and then just messing it up with really terrible drawing. So, there we go. Pikachu. Oh, there is one drawing I will do, but if I don't do this, I'm going to get told off. I know. I'll take your white edding and just make two highlights on his eye. Don't use it. Lift up the edding. Straighten it up. There we go. Really quick Pikachu. Super fast. Five minutes this takes to make in line work. Um, I do it in five minutes, six minutes at the most. Um, it's just practice, guys. You just need to, you know, get used to the uh, the 646s. They're great to work with once you get used to them. Um, and they're not very hard to work with at all. There's only, like, one twist in that 646. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple of more examples of that, which we could do. That particular one there we just did. All you need to do is just change the colour a bit and a couple of other things and you have a frog. Put a little crown on his head. Uh, and how much time have we got? I'm losing track of time. I'm only on for an hour. Uh, Okay, so okay, I'm going to give you another example of that one, and then I'll go on to a smaller balloon. We're going to uh, do 260 and show you what we can do with that. Uh, here's another example of the big loop the loop or, or embraceable, I do as well. And that's a cute dog, you might recognize him. Again, really quick to make. Whee! Okay, we've got 15 minutes left. So, shall we move on and do some small loop with 260s? So, okay, I'm going to make a cute little alien with a light in it. There we go. Let's turn this light off, see if we can see it a bit. Okay, let's go. That looks nice in a chrome, chrome as well. But I'll stick to lime green. Okay. So, um, take a 260 in lime green or a chrome. Looks nice too. tie off. I'm going to start with a pinch twist. I'm going to make one loop, nice and soft, and that's going to be a, a hand. Like so. I'm going to copy that loop again. And I'm going to make another one again. And you can discard the rest. So I'm going to take one of those loops and pass it through the other. 
And that pinch twist there would just represent his uh, bottom lip. Okay. So we're going to take Now this next 260 which should finish everything off so this is really a two a two balloon model uh, apart from the eyes and if you want to put some accessories on it so that's the 260 and again i'm just going to make two small pinch twists actually smaller pinch twists this time Like so. Then make a small loop. Wrap it around. Remember, guys, we're going too fast. You can watch this back at a later time. Uh, or, you know, I, I can be messaged at any time. I'm, I'm always here to help. I'm going to come back a hand and a thumb and make two more pinch twists. Really repetitive this stuff. And you can make so much different um, designs with it. You can do it in 162s if you like. There we go. Drop that around. I'm going to break that off. Break that off. I'm going to tie this off. Let a bit of air out and tie that off at the end because we'll use that for the legs. And what I'll do there is again two pinch twists, bigger pinch twist this time. That'll be for the legs. We'll save that in a minute. <laughs> So that will go through, through the body, as we did before. Get rid of that so, and the legs will go through. And then just bend that around. And then lock the rest into the two bottom pinch twists. And then discard the rest. So. So we have the arms and the legs. Now we're just going to make the eyes, which is really hard. This is the hardest part. Uh, I'm only kidding. It's just a five inch ram blown up to three fingers, tied off close to the bubble, like this. Cut the end off, and then again, just split in two. Again, that goes in between. And they should really nestle nicely in that inner loop, like so. Okay. Okay, you can just give it like that if you like. Put it on a bracelet, on a headband. Um, but what I'm going to do is do a couple of accessories. A couple of accessories for it. So I'm going to take a chrome in silver. And I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to cut it in two. Cut that in half because I'm going to save that bit for... And so that bit for his little laser gun, and this part here will be uh, 
his little antenna what goes on his head there we go you want to you can slate that leave in three to four fingers and then they're going to come I'm down because I only want to bubble about three fingers. I'm going to make two, two or three knots of each other. Knots. Okay. Like this. And I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to make a tulip twist so I'm going to come down to the blue and I'm going to pinch it tulip twist here and then I'm going to twist it again and this is what I've made it's a really cute antenna antennae and to secure that onto the top of his head I'm going to <gasps> Oh no, I'm going to use a glue dot. Shouldn't do that, very naughty. You're only supposed to twist balloons, not stick them with glue dots. Who cares? So I'm going to put the glue dot on the bottom of there. And find a nice spot to put that, which I'll say about here. So, Antenna on his head. Straighten up a bit if you like. And then for a little ray gun, he's going to tie a knot in that other half. How are we doing for time? Oh, time goes so fly, fly by when you're having fun. All I'm going to do here is just make a little bubble. Tiny pinch twist, like so, then about a two, three finger bubble here, maybe a two finger bubble at the most, and then break that off, but yeah, out. and I'm going to tie it a bit further down, probably about here, so you've got a little tip of freeze gun, which is like so, and it just gives you the impression of a little laser gun. So I'm just going to tie that in one of his hands. Like so. And then to be extra flash, give him a little flash. Just stick a light in between his, his eyes and then <laughs> you have a flashing alien. Hold on. You can give him a nose as well. Just a little line or a little L or something. Stay. Time for one more or not? I don't know if we have or not. It's 11. Well, we'll go for one more then. Another 160. This is a favorite I make a lot of. Um, normally do this in 350s, um, but I've been messing around lately and just realized you could do it in one um, 250. And just a couple of rounds and it's a little really cute racing car i'll make quite a lot of You've probably seen it but this is a a really quick version super quick actually and this could be a little wristy band so i think we'll have time to make that so what i'm going to do for, what i will do first here is take a chrome and silver 
or color of your choice but chrome is the best for this because you can get the chrome on the end and really give it a good stretch with your fingers before you inflate it okay and then inflate that leave in four to five fingers on the end okay So, tie that off. Yeah. Roll the bubble at the end so you get as maximum as you can. Make a pinch twist. Okay. I'm going to come down a hand and a thumb and make a loop. So, I'm going to come down three fingers at the top, three fingers on the other side, and twist. Sort of like a teddy bear head. I'm going to come down a hand and a, th a hand and twist. I'm going to make two three finger loops. One, two, I'm going to take a hand and come down again and make another hand with length, uh, hand loop. Like so. Match this bubble here. Okay, so this is what we should have at the moment. what we should have. What I'm going to do is take, I've left a little bit too much air in there, so I'm going to let a bit of air out. But all I want is I want a bubble, leave myself a bubble, about a hand and a thumb. But what I want to do, what I want to do is make it a soft bubble. Show you why. Because you want that bubble nice and soft, because I want to come up to the end. I want to squeeze the air down. String that bubble out to then two loop twists. And then I want to come up up through them two loop. I want to come up to, through them two loops. Oh, not two loops, the two, the two bubbles there. Like this. And then go back through the teddy bear sort of head. And then take the rest that you've got and then wrap it around that pinch twist. Like this. Okay. And this is what you should have. You should have the old sort of body for the car now. The race car. It'll all come together. So for the wheels, I'm going to need two five inch rounds. Okay, take your first five inch round and inflate it almost all the way. Like this. Give it a good, because that stretches the latex out. So when you de-inflate it to about four fingers, Fire that off, and that makes that bubble really nice and squishy. So take the knot, and then just turn that a couple of times, and that will represent the wheels. Now they will go through that, this loop here. 
if you want to take your bowl, feed it through the loop, bite it, go. Because that bubble's nice and soft, you shouldn't have a problem. There we go. That's gone through there nice. And with the other bubble, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Inflate that all the way. Bring it down to about four fingers. There we go. Slide that off. This time, leave that nozzle on. Because we're going to split that in two. Take that stringy part and then wrap that around the pinch twist. So take that string, wrap it around the pinch twist, and then back round to, and that'll just hold it for you there. And just pull that pinch twist to the uh, long, long ways. So that's where you've got the tip, then you've got the two. All we're going to do now is make a, a driver. You can use whichever colour you like. This what time I'll use is a yellow. Again, that just needs to be two fingers. And this could be Lewis Hamilton. And his silver car and his yellow helmet. Nothing difficult in the artwork. And that would just go in between here. Slide it down, just secure that in place. Then you just shape all your bubbles together, make sure all your, all your bubbles are nice and straight. And then you have a really quick 260 race car, which I normally do in 350s, but with these chromes you get extra, you get extra length on them. So guys, I think my time is up. Uh, I just want to say um, a real big thanks to um, Keith and Dom for all their hard work. I don't know, really don't know how they're doing it. And um, also to all my balloon friends across the world, uh, big shout out to, you know, Qualitex and all the team for, for just an amazing job they've done. And thank you so much for watching and look forward to hearing from you guys. Cheers. Thank you very much, Tony. I don't know if you can hear us. We've definitely got a few gremlins in the system. <laughs> Yeah. It's grinding to a halt. You were meant to appear there as if by magic. But it was never going to appear since we disconnected the wire. <laughs> ah, I understand yeah. the major flaw in the plan. <laughs> no. Major flaw in that issue. Thank you very much, Tony. Please give Thank him you. some love. Much love in the chat. Um, you guys again. Thank you, Mr. Tony. It's a pleasure. It's an honour to have you on, buddy. It is. It really is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello. I'm going to message him now because he's thinking, am I gone? Am I here? It is. Oh, no. Thank now he's you. heard it. Thank you. Thank you.